Hello everyone. Fall has come to my area of the woods and has left. I'm now standing outside in much cooler weather. It's in the 50s and we're going to try to warm up with something very special today. Stay tuned. said we had our first actual fairly cold snap come through last night temperatures finally hit below freezing killed off all of my non cool weather plants my peppers are all pretty much to the point where they're on the down um, a lot of my plants here on the deck didn't survive but I knew it was coming I brought in all the ones that I needed to keep over the winter and they're gonna be just fine um, so like I said, we're going to try and heat up today. Now, what I've offered you thus far as far as videos this year have been pretty mild in comparison to this. This is the Death Spiral. <sighs> Capsicum chinense. Supposed to be very, very fiery hot. And... Um, just taking a quick glance at it. Yeah, this is this is a, a gnarly little bugger, I tell you. Both of them are. The not I can predict before I bite into this one, I will not be growing this plant again next year. And there's a very good reason for that. One, I pretty much know what this is gonna taste like, but the main reason is that this plant has not provided a whole lot this year. In fact, it has provided exactly two ripe pods the entire year. Yes, I got a late start. I already covered that. But it's not late enough that two is a good maximum output. So I don't know much about this other than the fact that it is a chinense. I'm going to do a little bit of quick reading on it. I'm going to cut one up, take a look at it, and then we know what happens after that. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. Unfortunately, reading on this didn't make me feel a whole heck of a lot better. This is supposed to be a variant of what was called a Naga Bubblegum Red. Now, I can see that the calyx on this, I don't know if I can get this to, to zoom properly on it, but um, come on, you. Tap right there, try it there. No, no, it's not going to do it. The calyx on this spreads out nicely. I know that one thing about the bubble gums is that the calyx around the stem did tend to spread out, but one of the main things that you would notice about them is that the calyx also had the bleed of the color of the pepper up into it, and it would sometimes go up into the stem. Uh, that is not the case in these, so these hybridize somehow. So I don't know if it's just a weak hybrid that doesn't produce a lot, or if it's grower error that only caused me to get two this year. There's a couple cardinals down there. I wonder if I can get them in the... Right there. I keep hearing them moving around. But, uh, yeah, there, there's something, and I'm not 100% certain which it is, that caused this not to produce very much. That being said... It's probably not that different than a lot of the others I've tried anyway. We're going to find that out here. But uh, first things first, I need to find out which of these survived that cold the best. Because I just picked these. And this one, even though it's the more picturesque of the two, is also the softest. Which means it's going to be less palatable. So I'm going to cut that one up just to take a look at daisy Be very careful because I can't feel much with my hands at the moment. It's not super ridiculously cold out, but it was a really hot year and I'm very not acclimated to this kind of cool temperature. So, oh my gosh, ugh. So it's hard to see, but uh, on the inside of this, 
there are like pools of oil, not a whole lot of seeds. And the oh. Oh, to regret something before you do it is always fun. But uh, definitely has that Chenin's flavor, and wow, I can actually see there's enough in there that it's actually moving. Or oh my gosh, that's gonna this is gonna be ridiculous. There's no way I'm gonna eat the whole thing because I guess I didn't get any on my finger like I thought I did there. What I am gonna do take a good chunk of it though. That's about half. There's a couple seeds in there. I'm probably going to end up having to spit out because I just know my reaction to those is usually pretty bit. Oh, gosh. Talk me into it. Come on. Somebody out there. Come on. Give me, give me like a drum roll or a chant or something. To do it. Do it. I don't hear anybody. I guess I have to motivate myself. The quicker I eat this, the quicker I can drink that milk. And the quicker I drink that milk, the quicker I'll feel better. And the quicker I feel better, the better I'll feel. So you see, this airtight logic, we're doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, 2022, probably, unfortunately, my final one of the year, the death spiral. Oh, that's bad. Immediately the seeds just were like Bleh. I recognize that flavor all too well ah, That was not a heat thing That was an it was softer than I thought it was thing couldn't actually chew it. That's a heat thing. Oh. Sorry about that. There were more seeds in there than I thought. Oh, wow. So that was way more intense than anything so far this year. The concentration is in the just all around the tongue a little bit in the back causing me to tear up already that is a serious super hot oh my goodness okay well I'm not even going to sit here and try to pretend like I'm going to tough this one out the flavor was that very floral, scorpion-like flavor, which I knew immediately I was going to be in for a world of pain. Because those always had a pretty profound physical effect. A stinging, sharp pain, and I'm really feeling it. Right in the back. <sighs> About two-thirds of the way. Yeah, I'm not even going to... I can't. I'm having a hard time talking here. So it's about two-thirds of the way back, there's just like this circle all the way around tongue, cheek, roof, and straight back from there, I'm getting stabbed by pangs of heat. I lied, by the way. I don't feel any better with the milk. It gave me a couple seconds of uh, okayness. I unfortunately don't have a lot, so I might end up going through all of this here soon. Mm, 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 mm. Oh man, am I glad I have decided I decided early on that I wasn't gonna eat full pods all the time. Because I would be miserable. Like I'm I'm unhappy right now, but I would be miserable then. So, eyes watering, 
nose is running. Actually, yeah, you can see some a couple tears there. <sighs> I never claimed to be tough. I don't think I'm going to have to pause this one, though, because I can, I can sort of feel it's not getting any more intense. There have been some that, even after drinking a little bit of milk to sort of stifle a little bit, it just kept growing. This one has stopped growing, I can say that. It's just lingering. This didn't reach a 10. On the miserable scale, it's at least an eight. Maybe an eight and a half. Longevity. Even though I didn't last very long because I'm out of, um, I'm out of shape. Yes, that's the term that I use still. Uh, <clears throat> The longevity wasn't as bad as a lot of the others. This was one of those. Hits you hard. Hits you fast. Doesn't keep beating you up for a long time. This is the, um... This is the old-fashioned... Whipping. It'd be fast. It would hurt. It sucks, but it ends pretty quickly. Then you go on about your day. Okay. Woo. So I'm starting to starting to mellow down a lot more. So yeah, that was <clears throat> that was intense. Um, scorpion, Reaper, very similar floral type flavor like biting into a flower almost and it was just by looking at it one of the oiliest on the inside that I've ever seen now that very well may be because of the cold snap last night but given how fast that heat came on I I don't know. It, it could just be that it is that hot of a pepper. I'm going to use the other half of this in some hot sauce tonight. <laughs> hmm. Who do I sucker into trying that? So. Try not to burp loudly on camera here, but. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay enough that I can call it here. Yeah. Cap's going back on. I'm good now. That was a lot. That was a lot, but it was quick. And not a whole lot of hang time. And again, I'm the very I'm the one who will look I'm actually like my glasses are fogging. So when I said this is gonna warm me up, I wasn't kidding. Um even with milk, I can tell when something has a lot of hang time, and this one doesn't have nearly as much as some of the others. Uh, even small pieces of things like the um, like the actual Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. I remember that one was miserable and lasted for several minutes. And uh, actually, that was one of the ones I had to pause the video. But this one's not quite that bad. Um, definitely not a Reaper. Apocalypse chocolate. You know what? I'm going to take one more sip because I got some something going on right here now. Take a little bit bigger sip this time. I don't really want reflux because I haven't even had dinner yet. And I was actually getting a little bit hungry. That might have helped tide me over for a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, flavor. I like the flavor of the Reapers and the, uh, the Scorpions, so 
this is a very good one if you like super hots with flavor and you like that kind of flavor. Uh, heat, super intense. I'll peak it at an eight and a half. Longevity is probably a five because if we talk about like a full-on Reaper or a chocolate bootla, those are 10 plus minutes of, of real true intensity then they start to really come down um that would be a 10 uh and then we talk something like wasabi with the uh with the the hang time where it just hits you and then it's gone that'd be a one yeah i'd say this is about a five so good flavor great heat not terrible amount of hang time it's a really good pepper i so wish that it had produced more and i could make more of them next year because i kind of want to I want to know what this will translate to into a, like a hot sauce. If the hot sauce will cause it to linger less. It, usually it lowers down and mellows out the heat significantly, especially if it's a refrigerated hot sauce. So if this one has this short a hang time now, once it's rendered into a sauce, it'll probably be even less. So it could be a good one to make sauce with. I don't know if I would call this a snacking pepper though. Nope. No, I'm going to say it right now. This is not one you want to snack on. No, sir. Um, yeah, so I'd say growers rating, if we just don't factor in the fact that mine didn't produce a lot, I'd say it's an 8 out of 10 on me suggesting it. Just one that's worth a try. It's funny how these hybrids are. It's, oh, God. Oh, oh, that oh, little burp there came with a prize. And I don't feel like I won anything. Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah, I'm done suffering for you. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to go really hope that I don't get terrible cramps from this because I am still hungry. And I will um, more than likely be seeing you next year. I'm sorry again this year was short. There were a few factors in it, almost all of which stemmed from this guy. Uh, I'll do better next year. Hopefully we'll have more. And God, hopefully I'll be better prepared to handle these things because jesus was not less than half oh my gosh i mean i don't even want to smell it now <laughs> all right i'm out of here i hope you enjoyed it i will see you next year we will have i have a couple in mind that i've been wanting to grow for a little bit i tried them my first year and it didn't go well actually i think i killed the seeds before i even got them to grow because i didn't put I think it got too hot in my my grow tent and I actually killed the seeds with heat and as opposed to like drying out but um, a few things I'm looking forward to next year and uh, yeah I'm excited I'm I'm getting more excited as it comes along because we're getting close to that time that I start my seeds probably about another month and a half and it'll be time to get those started and we'll see how they go until then, take care of yourselves, have, uh, have a safe winter, I'll see you in the spring and or summer.